Hey yo yo, what is good for the day? It's your boy Tap Down once again with Tuesday Topics. Um, today, <laughs> get on this uh, Eminem and Nick Cannon thing, I guess. Um, guess Nick Cannon is coming at M now again over, you know, some dormant beef that they had about Mariah Carey when he uh, just Mariah Carey because after he said he hit it. She said he didn't hit it. He wanted to hit it. And didn't come to find out he did hit it, but he busted in like two minutes, something like that. It's something wild. Uh, he tried to do it again, or he tried to hit her again before she was with Nick. Um, he tried to hit it again, and she wasn't feeling it, so she kind of clowned him. So she came out with a little diss song on him. Kind of hurt his feelings a little bit, so he came out with a, a diss song, of course, Eminem. And that was that but I guess somehow Nick Cannon was like you know what let's rekindle this thing and let's go at each other so he made a diss song I don't know what the first one was called I know the second one called Invitation but I guess he made a diss song towards Eminem and I guess M responded in some type of little uh, either Twitter post or some type of little semi freestyle somewhere what I heard of but I guess he responded back and Nick Cannon is still going hard. Now, the song and invitation, everybody is, is dogging Nick Cannon out for that song because they had like a few battle rappers on it and they had a lot of candy bars with a lot of gun talk. You know, Eminem ain't bought no gun talk. That man ain't finna run up on you with no pistol, nothing like that. But I guess they had something about M. Or him and the Cannon, um, or, I'm sorry, they had something about uh, Nick Cannon mentioned something about his family. I'm sorry, in that song, that's what I meant to say. So I guess in the song invitation, they got Suge Knight on the beginning of the hook or the beginning of another song, calling Eminem a bitch or whatever. And that right there was automatic thumbs down. Cause who is Suge? Suge then did enough in the industry to where he can't say nothing, especially the great artists he done extorted and all the mess and trouble he done caused everybody else when he was in his heyday. Um, he done went from being the, the sole owner of Death Row Records or basically stealing the idea from Dre, because that's basically what he did. Uh, him and Dre partnered up, come up with the idea, and Suge just kind of strong armed it from him, like, yo, this me. Uh, you can go and watch your business somewhere. So. Dre, being the, the business savvy person he is, he was like, all right, cool. Left, started his own thing, and now he got Aftermath, and he's shining, and Suge Knight is in prison. So, you got you had that fact. Then, first couple lines, I guess he was talking about, get your ex-wife, get your daughter, somebody like that, because uh, some about something. I can't remember the, it bar for bar, but I, I listened to the song, break it down a little bit. But, I know they had um, Charlie Clips in there, um, Hitman Holler, and one other person who I don't really know the name of, but they had him in there. They was all going at him now. I'm a Michigan dude. I'm a black man, but I'm also a Michigan dude. And when it comes to the pinnacle of rap in Michigan, Eminem stands atop because no matter if he's white or not, <laughs> that boy got lyrics. So when he come in, when he come in there spitting, spitting thing, he ain't to be played with. That's a lot of people that can get with him, but they respect him. So they let <laughs> he let sleeping die, sleeping dogs lie. But if some people in recent years that kind of lost a little respect for him and say he old and washed up now, so they going at him. You know what I mean? When you used to be hot, you was hot. You still claiming that you can put the body to any rapper out here. So some people is testing your valor. Now, me personally, between the Nick Cannon and Eminem, Eminem is miles ahead of Nick Cannon when it comes to lyrical um, prowess. Now, when it comes to like the all over, all around movement, Nick Cannon got that in the bag. Because Nick Cannon does real Nick shit. He do. He go around and he give back to his community. He's building. 
He got his hands in a couple of really big projects. Uh, he owns uh, uh, he owns uh, a chain of stores now. I forgot which one he bought, but he Radio Shack. He bought Radio Shack, the chain uh, Radio Shack. So he owns most of the Radio Shacks, and he has his own incredible earphones inside of all of those uh, Radio Shacks, and he's selling well. So as a businessman, he's killing them. You know, hands down, he got M hands down. Now, M could go out there and do all of that, but I don't think that's M style. So M not going to go out there and promote no clothes or he not going to start no shady records, uh, kids basketball tournament and nothing like that. If he did, if he does, he got him, let me know. Because that's big up, man. I need to give my boy props for that. But what I see, you know, Nick got the in the community, in the hood type of influence more so than Eminem, but Eminem still got the musical world in the palm of his hands right now. And to me, this is um this battle may be worthless, but it's good. It's basically showing that everybody gotta stay on top of their game. You can't just slip off and go to sleep and then expect people to respect you as you are and you're not putting nothing out there. For people to keep their own respect in. But you also gotta respect legends. You can't just be going around running your mouth about no legends and not giving them they, they respect and talking crazy and you ain't got nothing to back it up with. Now, that also gets you in big trouble in this in this game. So to me, it's it's kind of a good thing that you excuse me, it's kind of a good thing that you, you know using lyrical battle for something positive because I guess and they kind of want him to get on this, the Wild and Out show you know and go against some of them folks there you know that would be cool the ratings would be through the roof um, maybe they can resolve their, their issues but I don't think that's going to happen now hmm, um, how the picture's looking right now plus Eminem once again I refer back to being a Michigan cat me being a Michigan dude, I know how Michigan cats act. White, black, Puerto Rican, Haitian, I don't care what it is. If you from Michigan, it's one thing about every Michigander. They have a little bit or a very, very big reserve of I don't care. And we we'll use that in any situation. If it's relationship-wise, I don't care. Um, Money-wise, I don't care. You know, stuff like that. Um, we hustlers now. We get on, we do our thing. But we also are mindful of surroundings. And Michigan people are, are different. You know, you don't really hear that much about our city and our state uh, like that up in Michigan, except for Detroit and Flint now because of the water crisis. But it's a lot of uh, cities and little townships around them, them areas, man that make up Michigan and all of those have a collective amount of people from different areas. So you, you're going to have a mixture of different attitudes and Michigan attitude is basically protect what's yours. If it ain't yours, leave it be because ain't none of your business. You got to worry about you. Get you some type of hustle, no matter what it is, because you're going to have to make it out here some way, somehow and stick with that. So, I understand Nick Cannon uh, coming at him, you know, for the Mariah Carey thing still and all of that. I understand him kind of refraining from this whole thing because he like, this is don't make no sense to me. Well, I'm even talking to dude like we had our words back in the day. They died down a little bit and it is what it is. But it's good for rap. It's good that that. The challenge is still in rap. People are still challenging each other for the crown. And rap is ever changing. Like, it's going to be another big type of movement in a few years. Um, When it comes to this music thing, I'm just waiting to see what it is. Because I'm interested. Uh, I'm kind of glad that that mumble rap died out. And that I'm glad that kind of has found its way out of rap. But, you know, now you got the super eccentric rappers and uh, the drug based rappers and the slow minded or slow minded themed type of rappers you know 
the rappers that's coming out with the just have one track and stay on that track type thing not have multiple tracks and hop off one track when that ain't working and get off on another track to make sure that's what you're supposed to be on but it is what it is out here because these it's not really the rappers running the rap game it's the rap companies that's running the, um, the rap game and if they won't they want you to beef with your best friend you better beef with your best friend or they're going to snatch that money from you and lord knows these folks out here need that money because you need the power that goes along with the money but as far as the the, the Nick Cannon and Eminem beef um, we all know who's going to win this it, we all know there's no way in hell Nick Cannon is going to win his people are going to think that he did a good job, but whatever he doing. And at the end of the day, when it comes to money-wise, Nick Cannon does have as much money as, as Eminem. Y'all may not want to admit it, but the man does. Like, he owns stores and his own headphones, and <clears throat> he has a music company and things like that. So, yeah, that man got money. Eminem, same way. He got a radio station. He got Shady Records. Um... He got um, shady clothing line, stuff like that. But that's neither here nor there because if you if you comparing like personal ventures, then ain't no telling what uh, Nick Cannon and Eminem got their hands in. But as you can see, what's on the surface, you can see what they got their hands on on the surface right now. But when it comes to this rap game, we already know Eminem got that man lyrically. Um, so. To Nick Cannon, I would just say, uh, whatever it is, bro, just if you got somebody in the tank that may have a challenge for the man, put them for it. But them bars and that verse that you spit and the invitation, bro, that's a no. You're not going to move nobody with them, man. And you ain't doing nothing but giving that man ammunition for his lyrical gun to blast that you with. So. We know you probably spitting facts because I don't think Nick Cannon really lied too much on his records and none of that stuff. But all in all, my guy, like it's not really worth it <laughs> to go against him. Not right now either because he's not in his prime no more. Um, yes, he's still a sharp rapper, but he's on a decline. Uh, everybody know this has been debated and. Every little forum that you can think of, everybody's been debating, like, why is this dude still trying to rap? You know what I'm saying? And it's a rap form, you know, because it is artists out here that are nasty. Now, there's some really, really, really nasty artists um, that can give him a little spin and he keep them on his side. So you got to do what you got to do in the art of war. But Nick Cannon, just go ahead, bro. Get you a little... Um, a nice good team of writers uh, when him come at you you know what I'm saying jab him keep jabbing him until he accept your invitation to come over to your show and battle you on stage in front of everybody you know what I'm saying and I know y'all ain't gonna, gonna turn it violent cause really if it came to scrap it Nick Cannon beat the shit out of Eminem I mean physically yes a lot of people beat the hell out of Eminem that's why he don't that's why he refrained from, from beefing with people like that and the big the beef that he do pick are all solicited picks. You know what I'm saying? Them people that be too busy or excuse me, people that be too busy or really not interested in bothering that man. Um, so if it came to like a physical altercation, which is not, and don't get me wrong, that's they not gonna fight each other or nothing like that. But if it came down to it, we already would know who will win that. So. Big ups to Nick Cannon for doing what he doing with his um his movement, his section. And big ups to Eminem doing what he doing in his section and with his movement. And hopefully this rap don't this beef don't spill out to the streets, which I don't think it is. And hopefully it don't go to the black and white thing, cause it's just two rappers rapping about uh, a situation that they had. We all know the situation. We all know it wasn't no black and white thing. It was just yo. I hit your girl before you hit her and this and that and the girl lied to you so it is what it is and glad luckily enough uh nick cannon got more sense than that and so do eminem but 
as far as this beef go, I'm gonna be interested in seeing what Eminem got to say back. And Nick Cannon, you better, you know, when he come back, you better come with some fire. You know what I mean? Come with some fat. Don't come with that that shit that you came with on the invitation. Cause that's not working, bro. I'm inviting you to never do that again. <laughs> but with that being said, man, I want to thank y'all for tuning in and listening to uh, Topics Tuesday. I almost blurred the lines on that one. Thank y'all for listening to Topic Tuesday. And next Tuesday, I'll be back at y'all with another one. Till then, I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>